I want a game like that with the uh, third best offensive scoring team in the league, and they come here and you guys take care of what you have to do. I mean, the energy level tonight, you guys, you, Docs, you guys played really hard to overcome a lot. Um, you know, that's what our second group does. Uh, we try to come in, you know, pick up with a lot of energy and just play as hard as we can. You know, we know we're going to make some mistakes. We know we got some younger guys who are not really accustomed to playing this many amount of minutes. But uh, everybody's in that next man up mentality. We know we got a lot of injuries, and, you know, there's nothing that we can really do about that. So you know, when we get out there on the floor, we just leave it all on the line. We got principles that we got on the defensive end. We just follow them through. What energy do you bring to the team? Satisfying is that to get in there and just do what you do and have it pay off. Um, you know, uh, I go into the second group with a, a lot of offensive, talented guys, and you know, definitely being there with Lou Williams. Um, I played with this guy uh, numerous times over the summer, so I kind of know how he wants to play, and he draws a lot of attention on the offensive end, so it makes my job a lot easier. You know, I don't go in and do anything outside my game. I just go out there and play hard and just hope that my team picks up all the energy that I bring out. And it seems like we always respond well to me coming in, playing that hard, and, you know, I don't have no problem with doing that. Uh, I'm fine. Um, I kind of went up for the block, and uh, when I went up for the block, uh, DeMar, he kind of bumped me as I was still going to block, so my right leg came down before anything, and I just hyper-extended my knee real quick. I think it more so scared me uh, than anything because I didn't really know what was happening in that point or moment, and it kind of scared me. I just kind of felt a little... You know, jerk back, I didn't really know what was happening, but I laid there for a second, let the blood start flowing back through my leg, and then I was good to go.